Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna switch it up just a little bit. So you guys will notice from here until maybe my wedding day, I'm gonna be trying on a few different wig styles, okay? Because like I said in my engagement vlog, we wanted to do the natural hair vibe for the wedding, but when I did it for my engagement shoot, we were only outside for an hour and my hair said, no ma'am. Okay, no ma'am, no ma'am. So my wedding, should I be saying our wedding? So our wedding is outside. I live in South Florida, natural hair. It's just not gonna cut it. So today I'm going to be trying the V-Part wig. Today's video is sponsored by Eunice Hair. Thank you, Eunice. I've heard nothing but great things. I used to wear your wigs way, way, way back in the day and I heard that you guys are only getting better. So Eunice, welcome to my channel. Really, really and truly, because I'm sure this will not be the last time. So we're gonna do a V-part wig today because we're just gonna start off with the V-parts before we go into full lace because I'm not there yet, okay? Let's take the wig out of the box. It's giving, it's giving Valentine's Day energy with like the reddish pink box, very cute. It's cute how they like give you little gifts and stuff. It's like, it's for me? You shouldn't have. All right, let's get into this wig. It's 100% human hair, it's 20 inches and I got the color natural black. So here's the V parting, and then there's clips up here, there's a clip in the middle, and then there's two clips on the side, and then they have the adjustable strap back here. Let me just get the vibes of how long it's gonna be. We could just end it here. Since the hair also is curly, I don't need to have extremely flat braids underneath, so I'm just gonna do two little cornrows back and then leave a little bit of leave out on top. You know what I'm tired of seeing? Let me just rant for a second. For the thumbnail, People will have their hair all braided back and then they'll do the, the clickbait photo. And then the thumbnail photo will look like this. And they're just gonna pretend that they're gonna walk around with their wig looking like this. Is that what we're doing, guys? Come on. But then again, I don't watch a lot of wig tutorials, so maybe some other people have done it, but the ones that I've seen, I'm like, why do y'all be lying? All right, so real quick, I'm gonna just do a little bit of leave out and then I'm gonna twist the sides of my hair. All right, so this is a setup real quick. So I have two pieces out in the front, that's gonna be my leave out, and then I have my little anchor twist right here. Kinda do it like up a little and then you go down, you know? Um, on both sides. But my hair a little bit thicker than y'all, so. So here is uh, Sister Alfred. That's her name, we're gonna call her Sister Alfred. So we're gonna put these in, this clip, anchor clip right here. Just clip that in. It's giving secure for sure. Ooh, yeah. That doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty, kind of, it looks kind of seamless. I see what y'all doing, I see what y'all doing. So here's the true length. It's kind of, it's giving armpit length. So if you're getting a 20 inch, it's gonna be about armpit length. And I might shape it a little bit, so it might turn out to be a little bit shorter, but this is the 20 inch length. So then I just have my hair on top, which we need to, yeah, I'm really impressed, okay? I'm kind of impressed. The girls are impressing me. So now I'm going to define these curls a little bit better because I should have, probably deep conditioned this first, or just threw a little conditioner on it first, but I don't have time for that, because I'm about to go to brunch. So I'm just gonna go in with some mousse really quick, and on top of that, or maybe underneath, this Eco Style Gel that did absolutely nothing for my natural hair, but I think it will do very well for this wig. Yeah, oh this is gonna be cute. So let's spray it with some water. I kind of want to get it soaking wet. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of gel. Go in with like that much, go down. Mm -hmm. So go down with that. We are gonna go in with our mousse. I need to shake it a little bit more, but it's okay. That's a lot of mousse. <laughs> Crap, <laughs> that's too much. All right, I gotta wash some of this off. What a beginner. And then I'm gonna take my Denman brush. Y'all remember when the Denman brush used to be all the talk of the natural hair? I feel like the girls are not really using it anymore. Not my strap out here exposing me. I'll fix it later. <laughs> and then for the ends, we're just gonna curl it up. And it'll, it'll get in formation as it dries. 
So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get nice ringlets. All right, so let's do that again. Spray the hair with water, a little bit of gel, and then a small amount. Don't go crazy. Whoa. <laughs> small amount. This should be fine. Ooh. Gotta take my iron. It's still too much. <laughs> Sheesh, man. Curl the end like so. So it doesn't look like anything now, but it's gonna give it a really, really nice curly curl at the end. So just trust the process and then everything will be fine. Oh, this is gonna come out so cute. I know it. I'm excited. So here are the curls. So we're gonna let them dry up and suit up. Not this one uh, showing out. Ooh, she's juicy. Okay, 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 okay. So now we're gonna attempt to blend my hair with these curls. Now the good thing, start number one, it's the perfect color for me. You know, it's very natural color. So like, we're already one step ahead. I just need to make sure that the rest looks good. And that's why I'm doing like legit minimal leave out because the more leave out you put, the more you're gonna have to blend and we just don't have the time. I do have some gel on it from my previous wash and go, but I'm going, y'all, y'all gotta give it a minute. I'm gonna go in with my, um, my expensive gel. If you saw my video, my last video, you know what gel this is. So I'm gonna go in with that gel and I'm gonna try to make this like, two big pieces because it seems like the more I clump my hair together, the more it's gonna look like it belongs. Wow, wait, this is actually a pretty good match. Hey girl! The problem is this side of my hair don't be wanting to really participate. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. All right, and then run through this side. I think we all right, guys. I'm gonna brush this out a little bit because <laughs> she's not giving. I know this front piece gonna do me right though. Do me right, girl. Not quite, okay. So then I'm just gonna make sure that the top is nice and flat. Does this kind of look like my hair, y'all? I think it kind of does. I think we're on to something. So this is what it's giving right now. I'm gonna let it dry up and then I'll be back. And I'm also gonna go to brunch, completely unfinished, and then I'll be back. All right, you guys, so I'm back from brunch. I didn't do anything at all else to my hair. I just let it air dry while I went to brunch. We sat outside and we had a nice little time and this is how the curls dried. Now this hair is so, 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 so pretty. I think it's so pretty. But we are going to shape it up just a little bit because although the curls are beautiful, the ends are a little straggly and I feel like the front doesn't really shape my face very well. So, time to snip. <laughs> I'm just going to do like a simple snip, hoping I really get both sides even. I don't really know what I'm doing. See, that already looks better. Ooh, yes, come on scissors. So let's snip this side as well. Oh, that already looks, oh my gosh, that already looks 10 times better. Hello, she's feeling herself. All right, so now I kind of want to shape the front a little. So at this point, it's giving bonsai tree and you're kind of just snipping parts that you feel like, okay, let's shape this up a little bit on the side because it's a little flat. You want it to kind of like round up a little, you know? So let's just snip, snip, snip it away. I think one of the most important things when you get a curly unit is to never just leave it the way it came. I always feel like customizing it snipping it a little bit, um, enhancing the curls is what helps to make it look much more natural, much more fit to your face and all that. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and snip, snip, snip.
So you guys, this is the finished look. I'm coming a little closer so y'all see what's going on here. Mmm. Hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um. Gosh, I think it came out so good. I think it's so important to personalize and customize your unit or your wig, your half wig, full wig, whatever, when it comes to you, because everyone's face shape is different. So that's just a pro tip. So get get you some scissors. Okay. Get you some scissors, a tweezer, whatever, some gel, some mousse whatever you need. I will leave everything that I used in today's video in the description box. And I mean, I think we're good here. I feel like I did a really good job for someone who's not really, you know, in the wig game like that, you know? But I think we're gonna make this a, a new thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.